Gaming Division. Hello and welcome to Gaming Division. I am Cam Ryan. Today's going to be another unboxing for Epic. This is a little card game made by the same people who did Star Realms. White Wizard Games. I was correct. I actually mentioned them on accident uh, the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and snip this with using some scissors. Um, safety, safety, safety. If you don't have a trusty knife, uh, scissors are the way to go. Ugh, I don't like that sound at all. Um, I actually backed this long enough ago that I am forgetting what this is. I know that the people who made Star Realms made it, but I don't remember if it's a deck builder, like a fantasy deck builder version of Star Realms, or if it's a uh, fixed deck game. I think it's a fixed deck game, honestly, because they mentioned being able to do draft tournaments and such um, with one box, I think. They'll say on here, I'm sure, uh, that one box, I'm just going to put the extras over here. I bought three for whatever reason. Um, so it's two to four players, uh, it says 20 minutes, about for average game time, uh, 13 and up. Um, I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, as minimal as the packaging was, they actually did a really good job. Um, it really shows about working smarter, not harder. Uh, box is a little dinged up, but that's okay. I remember needing a box like this recently. I don't remember what for. Oh, for Super Dungeon Explorer, that's right. Okay, so when you open up the box, uh, you get a little pamphlet for uh, Epic Card Game. It Anyone who sees this, and I'll put it under the other camera in a second, is going to instantly be reminded of Magic the Gathering. Um, back when they did, I don't even know if they still do them anymore, but they used to do little rule books like this that were horribly printed, because back in the day you just didn't have good printing. And to be perfectly honest, this looks so similar, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Wizard of the Coast <laughs> tried to sue them. Um... There's a little cover there. They even have token cards that are similar, but obviously the design, the overall design is going to be enough. Um, so let me let's break out some of the cards and look at them together, and then we will go through and uh, look at the bonus pack thing that I got. Love all that plastic. Yum yum yum. Uh, we've got like human tokens, zombie tokens. Oh, apparently that's the end of tokens. Um, Oh, but on the back they have wolf tokens and demon tokens. So there's four different types of tokens. Let's go ahead and just real quick to show the comparison between the old and the new art. We'll go ahead and plump down these. The knights are re remind me of like Warhammer, like Imperial Knights. Um, so there's those. They also put in these demigod cards. Which is interesting. Um, it looks like there's a few different ones of them. Uh, four green, three blue, a yellow, and a... Oh, he's green and red. Oh, they're mixtures. Being that I haven't played this game, and I haven't even really looked through the rules yet, um, or not that I can recall anyways, uh, all I can really comment is on how the, the, pa the product is packaged. For whatever reason, it's, it's put in here like this. My impression is that it's not randomized, that it's fixed. When you buy whatever booster pack this is, or the uh, Epic Card Game Starter Set, what is this actually called? Epic Card Game... It does not have a label as to what it is referred to. Um, you get the same thing, and if you buy... I think that's why I bought three of them. Um, and if you buy three of them, you get as many as you can fit in the deck by the rules. And we're going to conf confirm that in just a moment. But um, that is infuriating that I have to go then go through and sort out uh, the colors. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to pop in the rule book, and we'll be right back, and we'll give you a brief synopsis of what what's what with it. So after that, I see why it was organized the way it was in the package. I'm going to have to shuffle all that. Um, the way this game is designed to be played is that Magic Gathering and Star Realms had a medieval baby. It's just what it is. 
when you play this game, you take the cards. Um, I believe there's 120, and I want to make sure I get this exactly right. To start a basic two-player game, shuffle the game cards and deal 30 to each player. So your decks are always randomized. Not a huge fan of that. But, given some of my attempts to manipulate Star Realms into this, I can see what they were doing. Um, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to change the basic play of this and change it, uh, the format, uh, change it to add a fixed format. Um, it's 30 cards for a starting deck, so you can play up to four people with the original 120. Um, I could say that if you add a pack, you could then add that many more people, but large games get messy, that's all I'm saying. Uh... So, it really looks like someone put an effort in to fix Magic the Gathering. Uh, they were like, they, they very specifically say there's no responding. <laughs> uh, they added a third stage for blockers. Um, instead of being exhausted when blocking um, or just unchanged, they're actually flipped 180 degrees to show that they were used for blocking, but they're not exhausted from their powers, which is uh, very interesting that you can still dare I say, tap them, even though they're uh, flipped, which is very interesting. Um, now, there are points where you can cast spells on other people's turns, but it's only after they've attacked you, they've used their spells and events, then you have a chance for, to respond with spells and events and block, but I'm, I can't remember which order that is. Uh, it's very stringent on the order that you do things in this game. Um, and then you have that magical, I'm going to end my turn, now what are you going to do to me phase. Um, they kept that, and I think that's just to keep people from trying to do that at other points. Um, and it shows good foresight that th they would do that. Um, and they even mentioned some formats in the back of the book here. I don't know why I didn't get that far. Oh, because there's a glossary, and the glossary is always at the end, except for this book. Um, so, there are other formats. There's sealed, two, four players, five to eight players with two sets. Packed, packed draft, three to four players, five to eight players with two sets. Um, anyone who has played a CCG, uh, in any seriousness knows what a draft format is. It's just where you take the cards and you deal it out, uh, evenly amongst all the players, and then everybody selects one, uh, and then passes their hand. Um, sealed, um... You, I don't know. This is randomly deal thirty. It even adds an option for uh, choosing the thirty best cards if you have more than that. Um, open draft, two players. Epic cube draft, eight players. Three sets required. Really constructed, like I said. So they, they, they've shown a lot of foresight. They did their research and they know kind of what's going on. Uh, Pre-constructed two to four player set. Each epic set contains four pre-constructed decks. Simply separate all the cards by color, and you have four balanced decks. That's really interesting. Um, fully constructed. Any number of players, each player builds a deck from their own epic card collection. Decks must contain at least 60 cards, with no more than three copies of each card. Uh, I wonder if they if they made sure to not have any of those, well, I control your card nonsense. Because, I'll be honest, that was a really tricky thing to deal with in Metro Gathering back in the day. And Star Realms, if you, uh, fortunately, that's all you play with one set. But there are things that, like, grab cards from each other. Um, also, okay, so this is an interesting note here. Also, for each zero card of alignment, the deck must contain at least two one gold cards of the same alignment. For example, if a deck has seven zero sage cards, it must have at least 14 one gold sage cards. I don't know enough. Um, but it's got me excited. Um, they even have multiplayer formats on here. Uh, similar to how they did for Star Realms. Hunter, Hydra, Free For All. Um, I'm really excited to play this. And I really want to play the constructed format. Because the, the randomized format actually worries me a little bit. Um, because a lot, if it's anything like Star Realms, it's very dependent upon grabbing 
uh, similar alignments um, for combinations. But um, if it's all randomized, it's going to be very hard to control when you get screwed by the deck, which is not good. At least in Star Realms, when you get screwed by the deck, it's because you didn't purchase certain things. So that gives me a realm of control that I'm comfortable with. Uh, I think the realm of control for this, where you don't have a shared thing, unless you turn it into a deck building game, uh, that would be pretty interesting, actually. Um, or start with, like, I don't know, start with 15 cards or 10 cards, 12 cards, whatever the, the hand limit is. I didn't even check that. It's usually very important. Um, it is... You start with 30 health. That is very important. I did forget to mention that. And... 5 cards. So you'd start with 10. And then you'd leave everything else out. Um... But that's all I gotta say on Epic. I'm really excited to actually play this. I'm gonna have to grab somebody and, uh... You're like, bitch, we're playing some Epic. Because that's how you invite people to play games. Am I doing it wrong? But until you see me next time, I am Camerai. Have a nice day. That's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.